Yeah, this is gonna be a first look here at my my new set of goalie pads. One um wouldn't really call it a a full on review yet because I've only used them two times. But it's the Von Venice SLR Pro. And I got the leg pads, the glove and blocker. So I got the combination. Also got a new warrior stick there, you see. So um that's everything right in front of us. Upgrading from um I had Bauer leg pads before, they're the 1.7s. So now I'm upgrading to these Vons here. I also had a CCM glove, which was a CCM uh, 400 Extreme Flex. So I'm upgrading to the Von Venice SLR Pro glove. Also the Von SLR Pro blocker. And I had a CCM blocker before, and that was, um, I had the CCM glove and blocker combo. So they're both the 400 Extreme Flex. So now I got the whole set here. And I got this Warrior Ritual VR2 stick. So I upgraded it from um, out of Montreal. And I got this Warrior stick, which I do like. It was, uh, like I said, um, probably, and I'll get into it here in a second, what I usually look for when I'm um, choosing a stick. So, yeah, let's first start out here with the Vaughn glove and I'm, I'm really impressed with the glove right off the start. The CCM I had, a uh, good overall starter glove for me. Uh, the cuff did tear and it was kind of just shredded like right along that seam on the CCM just it blew out. It blew out to the point where it was finished. Um, and the glove was pretty stiff. Now this Vaughn, this is basically you're going to see this right from the factory here. Wait until you see this. That's right from the factory. You can't get no better than that. This glove here is so broken in. They come pre-broken in from the manufacturer. That there, that's a dream when you do that. Uh, look at the back there. They have the stitching nicely done. Everything on the, this new gear is just so, so well done. And I just actually had watched a video when I did my original review on my other gear, and I'll tell you, that looked that looked really good brand new too. It's just now it's so beat up that you'd never realize it was, it was actually in decent shape at one time. But this glove here, it has the, on the cuff, you can get a look at this here, it has it ri like a rise in the back, deflect the pucks up and out, which is pretty cool. My other one, CCM, didn't have that. Uh, webbing in there, really nice. Heavy duty, but it's like, so soft like when you get when you catch a puck in here it's just it's just kind of you know it just kind of eats it up and i haven't really had too many pop outs yet i mean i had a few you're always going to have that but that's mainly on me got the adjustable straps there i keep everything pretty loose on the glove i really don't like to keep it too tight because uh usually on uh, my chest protector the, the pads that come down in the arms are kind of tight and i try to loosen them up too just don't like to feel constricted like that so that's the glove um really nice there and we're going to take a look down in a little bit here to comparison between the way that closes right now and the way my ccm does after three years wait until you see that that's going to blow your mind here in a few minutes next we got the blocker and like i said this is the it's the whole combo so it all goes together. And now we got the Von Venice SLR Pro blocker. And let's take a look at this. Some good graphics on there. I'm good, you know, just well done. The top is. And that also has the rise in the blocker. A pretty sharp angle up there to flex some pucks so you don't get them kind of skimming across the top and in. And there's the logo on the side. That's, uh, that's kind of like a print that ain't sewed on, but still, still on there, nice. And this glove on the inside, so soft. Like when you when you have, um, I guess when you're just starting out. I mean, a lot of them are, are stiffer, and this here, even after using it a few times, just very like comfortable glove. A lot of padding in there, and just like all the blockers, um, a lot of a lot of protection. You need that there, and you take a look in there, and you see. Just get all that good protection that you're going to need for your blocker. And for me, um, I usually try on a blocker, and usually the first thing I do is I'll pick up a stick and see how it feels. Because um, some of them, 
right in there you'll have that pad and some of them are set up that the inside padding just for me it's a little awkward so i usually like to see that and so i was pretty i was pretty happy once i picked out the leg pads first and i went to the glove and block and i was like yeah that's a it's a solid setup and i i was pretty happy with it so that's the glove and the blocker right there take a look at them there side by side and then we'll go into the stick and talk about that for a second and Usually what I look for in a stick when I'm picking them out is pretty simple. Um, it's the height, uh, where the paddle is, so I can get a good stance. You know, you don't want it too high or too low. You want it just, just right in your stance. So pretty much where the paddle comes up to there. That, and I usually test them to see if they're heavy. You know, you want a lighter stick. At least I, I, I usually tend to go for that. So this Warrior had the right colors there to match my gear. Um, is light and the paddle it uh, matched up to where I usually like it for my stance and you can take a look and see how I do my paint or my tape job here and it's pretty simple I just start out on the knob there and I, I just take a roll of tape and I'll keep going around and around until I create that um the butt end for it and then um I'll take a piece of tape down through and I'll I'll tear it off and I'll just roll it around until it gets in a circle and then I start at the top, you can see like the um, the grips underneath the tape. So I run it down around so I have somewhere to put my hands into so that's kind of have a grip and then I just take tape right over top of it and finish it off and yeah, that's usually what I get there. On the blade, uh, nothing really too crazy. I mean I just try to make it look nice. Uh, you know that's pretty much what I do. Um, so. Uh, I usually give it one tape job on the stick and that's pretty much it. And I'll use this stick until it either breaks or I just really have it beat up to where there's chunks taken out of the paddle or something like that. But so far so good with that, lightweight and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm pretty impressed with everything I got so far. Now um, we're going to look at the leg pads next. So let me move this um, glove and blocker out of the way, get a good look at these here. And that there's the Von Venice SLR Pro Pads. They're 34 plus 2. They're the exact same size as my Bowers, except the Bowers were a 36 plus 1. So somewhere in there, from my understanding, I guess you just get more. The plus 2 is for the top pair, so you get a little bit more coverage in the 5 hole. Um, I stack these pads side by side to the Bowers. Same size, same exact size, but... Uh, the Vons just feel bigger when they're on, when they're on my legs. Not totally sure. Maybe there's no knee broken in, but they're a really nice pad. I uh, see the stitching on the side there. Von stitched in, and um, we'll take a look at the back of them here now. So I took my thigh pad out of my Bower, and I put that. I strapped that right in there. I laced it in to these Vons. Because um, the Vons didn't come with that. They just um, do not have them. And what I was told is a lot of the pads are just going away from actually using them. So they're not really using them much. And I was like, all right, well, I'll just use the ones I have. Because I was used to them. And I was also told um, they could um, kind of like stop your rotation a little bit. And I've never had that issue. I don't know. I don't get too far into it like that. I think you know some of the things are a little ridiculous. I mean, I'm playing... Not at the highest levels, so you know, for me, I think they're rotating good and everything's good there. But the inside strap here and the knee cradle, ton of padding. On my other pads, this is probably one of the main reasons why I had to end up switching because the knee cradles, I just wore them out to where there was nothing left. And these here, brand new pads, uh, they got a whole lot of padding in there. They got this one strap that runs right over there. You got that, and then this pad here you got which is called the reaction rotation control reactive rotation control and that there's just it's below the knee and that's pretty much what they tell you it's below the knee but it's above the shin I don't know that's what they say in the description anyways and it locks right in that clip on there so it goes in there like that and so it's an air pad it has a lot of good padding in it and it's just supposed to help with the rotation control basically and 
you move down a little bit further now across to actually the back of your cap you have this strap here that runs straight across into this and it's a velcro so they did away with a lot of the leather strapping it's supposed to be lighter weight but that just goes through there back around you cinch it like that and then you see down there it has the logo there embroidered in and let me flip this pad over quick so we can take a look at the bottom that's the strap at the bottom there for the boot and they kept the leather strap in there and I cut it off because I had so much excess on them and I don't like you know I really don't I don't like the extra that I could get caught somewhere so pretty much set it up where I want it and then I just I snipped that off and, and I go from there it's, it's it's different for everybody it depends on your preference but they're very easy compared to my other ones to put on a lot less straps everything's velcro kind of just go on and uh, you can kind of I think they're more comfortable that way but a ton of padding in here take a look down through here yeah that's uh and the face of the pad I mean they're I think they're advertised as like possibly a, a hybrid pad but I think all the pads are pretty useful for anybody's style these days they have a good contour on them so they keep that good um good uh like the good angle there for the butterfly and I've been pretty happy with these like I said I wore them I wore this set twice now first time in a league game that was pretty awkward the first time the second time was um, pickup uh, in a group I play on Friday nights and a lot different the second time I just got more used to it so you can take a look at the detail very nicely done and this pair here I've seen a matched so most of the stuff I already had with the red and black so I ended up picking this set up but everything on them just really well just really well done and more substantial pad I'd have to say compared to my other stuff anyway I was talking about earlier I want to um, compare the glove here before I go and let's take a look at this CCM here's my old CCM glove so we got the old CCM 400 Extreme Flex we got the new Vana Venice SLR Pro. Now, this Vaughn used twice, and let's just let's just take a look at this. Now let's compare that to the CCM. Been using this for about three three years. Probably played 300 sometimes with it, and very stiff glove. And I thought I broke it in pretty good, but yeah, this glove here just. And there you see the cuff. I had a hell of a time. This this thing took one hell of a beating. So that was the old glove. Now let's grab the old blocker here, which I have no complaints about at all. Here's the old CCM blocker. Now this thing here, this held up the test of time. Took a lot of shots, but it really did hold up glove wore out a little bit in there. I mean you have one or two holes but everything's still connected. Still good padding on top. So um, really I'm hoping with this new set of Vons I get the same the same <laughs> amount of use out. If I can get three years out of these that would be great because the overall investment in these I think probably about eleven hundred dollars overall. Which you know for a good set of pads you really can't complain. So that there's um it's a good look out in there. Like I said, very comfortable everything is. The leg pads gonna take some more getting used to. Like anything, you gotta break them in. And they're a little awkward the first time. And the second time got more used to them. The main concern I had was when you're stood up in the butterfly here, you got a lot of overlapping in here. And it's gonna be tough for me to show you what I mean right now. But anyways, you get like they just want to kind of turn in when you're standing, like you're you're getting in a good stance already. And I just feared the first time I went on the ice, I was just gonna, they were just gonna catch, and I was gonna take a header on the ice. But that didn't happen. It's just something I got to get used to. And I do, I I really do like the set. I recommend them. And hopefully this video here, um, you know, gives somebody that might have been thinking about this set maybe a closer look, because I definitely think they're well worth them. If you're planning to upgrade your equipment.
or maybe change just go to a different brand or something like that maybe these are for you maybe not it depends gets all in your style of play but like i said they're perfect for um playing the butterfly the way i do mostly so yeah the single break there really good really good face they kicked the rebounds way out I mean, they're sending them like there's some they're sending back out to the blue line so that's an overall look there at the upgrades i made we got the stick the warrior ritual vr2 stick i like that lightweight paddles at the right height then you got the the vaughn venice slr pro glove and blocker and leg pads and the glove like i said really broken in take a look at that one more time can't get enough of that i mean for a brand new glove that's like a dream there and i tried on a lot of brand new gloves at the goalie store some of them are like that depends who you get i've seen some of the warriors were like that but not all of them are like that that's that's impressive and you got the blocker good solid blocker good solid leg pads so overall i definitely recommend this set like i said this is kind of more of a first look than really an overall review i can't really give a official review until i'm in these things 20 30 times but I was just excited to pretty much show everybody um, the stuff I'm using now. So, yeah, like I said, I hope this helps anybody who was thinking about upgrading to this set. And I appreciate you watching. And in the description below, I'm probably going to add two links of the uh, previous videos of me playing in them. So you can get an idea of what they look like out in the ice. So, hey, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys.